All right, Dav Fog 35 says, Ryan Daniels said that the Bombers are early season bolters. Do you agree? Uh, well, I wouldn't say early season bolters. I mean, specific to this season, perhaps, but their tendency in the last few years has been to start poorly. So uh, I don't know that that applies as a general rule of thumb. But I'll say this, and Finey can back me up. I'm not just uh, changing my tune after this game. I haven't been convinced by them at any stage this season. I mean, they scraped over the line against Frio by a goal. They scraped over the line against Sydney by a goal. They're going to be two of the lower teams on the ladder, you'd think. They lost to Carlton. Um, Collingwood was a good win. I'll give you that. Scrappy against an underman North Melbourne and still only won by 14 points. So, you know, you've got a, a 4-2 record and probably one of the wins has been super impressive. So that's not a great track record to me. And, and uh, look, I, I didn't... I'm, Actually, it's so long ago, I'm having trouble remembering, but I'm pretty sure I didn't put them in my eight. Um, I, I think there are at least eight sides better than the Bombers, to be perfectly honest. How yeah, do you I say? Them, I had them outside the eight. As a victim of circumstance as much as anything else, having lost their gun full forward, having a captain who interests, you know, it's a different injury now, but sort of at the start of the season wasn't expected to appear for a while and then goes down, unfortunately, with another injury. But, yeah, they've been unfortunate. Oh, oh you can't blame the coach. He's promoted McGraw. He's handled McGraw really well. You know, he's he's worked him into the midfield and now he's a good midfielder. You have McGraw, Shield working nicely. I think Merritt could provide a bit more. Zaharakis, yeah, it's not the... Sometimes it's not the possessions he doesn't get because everybody points out that two-possession game. There was a he did something tonight and I thought, you know what, why doesn't why doesn't that get under Worsfold's go go? He he got a ball at centre half forward and he handballed the ball to I don't know who the forward was, um, might have been Parrish, but he, it was a two-metre handball just so Zaharakis wouldn't get crunched. And the player he handballed to just had no chance of using that ball in any other way than getting crunched himself. It, it was abrogation of responsibility. He's not confident, he's fumbling. Anyway. I'll say this about Essendon's midfield. I think virtually every player in that midfield group you look at and you can point to one deficiency in their makeup. So with Shield, it's often his kicking. With Dyson Heppel, it's his pace. Um, with Zaharakis, it's his ability to be consistent. Devin Smith, perhaps discipline. Yeah, Zach yeah. Merritt. Um, now, Merritt's an interesting one because I heard VT at one stage tonight say he's a beautiful kick of the footy. I don't know that he is. Uh, I think he can turn it over a bit as well. So, look, you know, in the, in the whole scheme of things, everyone has some sort of deficiency, but I think there's not one Essendon play you look at one of the midfield group and go, uh, there's, his game is fully rounded, as you do with, say, a Bontempelli or with Richmond, as you do with a, a Martin. They haven't got any one of that ilk, and I think that that is a, a bit of a factor when they come up against a side with a quality midfield but also a deep midfield. They haven't got the numbers, and they haven't necessarily got the quality.